Hello there, and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play The Simpsons Game by me, Mr. Muck Cluckable. Yep, this is part 9, Invasion of the Yokel Snatchers. A very short mission, this, I think. Very easy mission as well. Except for one part. Yeah. Um, I actually have kind of a little topic to talk about today as well in this mission, because it's so simple, I don't really need to... I don't really need to pay attention to it, except, of course, for the... Uh, cutscene which I shall stop and let you listen. Uh, but yes, after this I want to talk about the Let's Play in general. Dad, look, they're raiding the mall and sucking up innocent citizens. Where is mall security? You always seem to be around when you take a whiz in the fountain. See? Hey, stop your thieving. I spent all day clipping these coupons for flat screen magic picture machines. Brandine has to watch her stories in 1080i pixel. This human has tiny pieces of paper that give him big, big savings. We must study him. Study him with anal probing? Of course with anal probing. What else would we do? Talk to him? <laughs> God, they're torturing that yokel. It's the perfect time to attack. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Yeah, this is a uh, this is the alien invasion one where you're in the mall. Now, um, before I start my little topic, I'll show you where the first collectible is. It's right where you start. Jump on these brown vans. And actually, sorry, it's not Homer's. It's Bart's. So you need Bart anyway. You need Bart. There we are. Okay. What I was going to say is, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> the whole point, not the whole point of a let's play, I would argue, is not so much the game, but the uh, the way the person presents the game and plays it. I mean, a staple in any uh, let's play is is failures, is that right? I, uh, am I right? I don't know. I always think that the person can't be perfect at the game, otherwise it makes it a bit too uh, clean. I'm not sure. I mean, certainly I'm not the best at this game. I know that. I, I do suck quite a bit. Um, but the other thing I was uh, thinking of is that it's very difficult to play a game and talk at the same time. You don't realise just how difficult this is when you're watching videos. By the way, here's Homer's first box app in the van. Just use the helium to get over to the side. And don't get don't get overtaken by all these damn aliens. Oh goodness me. I actually need to stay on this side. Yeah. You don't realise kind of the the difficulty of of multitasking. Maybe it's because I'm a man, I don't know. But uh, no no of course it's not. But um it is really difficult because unless you're playing with a friend I suppose you're so used to playing games quietly and actually there's uh, Bart's second crusty coupon up to the top of this van and glide down there so um, what I'm going to try and do not so much in this let's play because I think this one is whilst it was a good choice for collectibles and overall simpleness I suppose. Uh, it's a bad one for kind of talking about random things because, and by the way these are very good ammo because it kills them in one shot. Um, it was a bad one to choose because you have to keep kind of saying about where you go and where the collectible is. Whereas if I had for example a first person shooter like Time Splitters, which I'm thinking of doing, because I love that game. Throw it up here, by the way, to get Homer's. What's this? Whoa! Whoa! Don't do that, do this. And then triangle. There we are. Second, there we are. Time Splitters, first person shooter. 
And also, when you do first person shooters, you don't need to explain about where everything is, because you're just shooting things. And you can kind of talk easier... What am I doing? Talk easier about uh, random things, I suppose. Because if it's a video just of someone playing the game and telling you where things are, which mine have been for quite a while, it does get boring, I think. I don't know if people watching this agree. I mean, maybe they don't. That's good if they don't, but... Um, oh, camera. So what I what I plan, and it is my first Let's Play as well. I mean, I can't be too hard on myself that I can't really do much in terms of... Come back, what is this little one doing? In terms of what, what others do, what I, what I see on YouTube, because they might have done it for a year, two years, whatever. Uh, when you're on this side, by the way, with Homer, after floating over, turn this lever on to get out some steam for Bart to fly over. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is I'm going to try and, and talk less about the game and more about anything really, but um, I still want to kind of keep that level of where things are and what detail about the game. I just died, I just died. Oops. Have I got any of that good ammo I have? Watch it, just, uh, yep, just take them all out like that. Right, home's back alive so we can get this collector what here. Whoa. Keep saying whoa. Stop. Now we need. We need Homer to. Blast across here. Although, actually, I think there's a cliche here. There we are. Temporary power up. That was in the second mission. Remember the food contest? This was in the second mission and only now. That made it a thing. No, natural. Natural. Uh, cliche. And there's not much behind here anyway. Alright. So, take some of this helium. And kill these. Don't die, because it's very easy to die. Oh, I'll tell you what, just ignore them first. If you can. Don't get. Oh, dear. I knew it'd happen. There's a very, very annoying part coming up now, because uh, there's only. I think it's seven. Seven collectibles between both of them, so there's not many compared to nine and eight of the last one. But, uh, oh, dear. No, that is not fair! So what they've done is they've made one incredibly hard to get. Which is kind of mean. But let's turn the steam on. And actually, let's... die again. Let's go over. Where do you... where am I? Okay. That we are. There we are. Right, so fly over there. Switch back to Homer, come on. Right, let's turn that steam on. And this is the annoying bit. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but uh, you have to get rid of these stupid aliens first. Let them gone. There. Yeah, there we are. So fly off this pole, and then leave a little bit of a gap. Because if you go all the way up to the top, you hit the top, and you don't jump as far as you can. Just leave a little bit of a gap, jump, and fly. Oh boy.
whoever designed this part of the level can go to hell or be anal probed by these aliens. Yes! Yes! Right, grab that. There we are. There's some more ammo as well. Three out of three, we've done parts. Oh. Homer's is in the last part of the mission, which is in here. Oh, so happy. Okay. Yeah, they get sucked up. This is cool, but incredibly painful. And I think there's a cutscene here. The one of the weird 3D ones, so I'm gonna turn off the mic for a second. I was wrong. I was wrong. It comes up once you turn this lever. Okay? I think they done busted my stank ball. Damn those rectally upset savages. Damn them. Well, now you're free. You can go back to your trailer, shack, lean-to, or whatever. Uh, technically it's a hovel. But I ain't going nowhere. Those green fellers started a feud that won't be over till I poke something in their void hole. Gross, but fair. Here we go. This is the very, very easy end of this mission. Basically, kill as many of these aliens as you can, really. Well, or just ignore them. Turn these levers around the edges and they spit out some food for Homer to eat. Because what you have to do is turn into Homer Ball and smash these kind of uh, spawners. See a pattern here with spawners and destroying them? And yeah, this time it's kind of a little boss. Right, missed that one. Yeah, I think there's five to do, so yeah, shouldn't take that long at all. What is that up there? Oh, it's Kang and Kodos. Doing that lifts up this little green console. We're right near it as well, and behind it. Da -da -da -da. Homer's last bottle cap. Press the button and we are done. Sideshow Bob. Ah! Don't bother crying out in terror. In space, no one can hear you scream. We're not in space. Well, we are in a spaceship. Not the same thing. It's pretty weird that you'd be working with the aliens. Try not to think about it too much. Just focus on what an unexpected treat it is to see me here. Besides, you won't live long enough to hear the convoluted explanation. Now, cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet Simpsons. And flights of aliens singly to thy rest. <laughs> I told you to pick up your space rake. No matter. It was foolish to send a former TV clown to do an alien's work. We will have our revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. And there we are. 14.44.99. Huh, that's quite strange. Five, five minutes is the target time for this. Although, uh... I'm not quite sure how easy that would be to beat after doing that stupid pipe thing. Pole. Oh. Right, okay, let's have a look. Three out of three, four out of four, thirty-five deaths. <laughs> thirty-five deaths. And one cliche. Now, um, yeah, so I'll try and do some of that crap I said at the beginning about talking more. Maybe I'll have like a a topic of a, of each episode. Tell me what you think. I need some feedback. Would that be good? Would you rather I just shut up for this Let's Play and do the uh, collectibles and the basic uh, levels and wait to kind of expand in the next Let's Play, which I'm hoping will be kind of a first-person shooter, not so much platforming type of game. I'm not sure yet. If you, uh, By the way, if you have any ideas, please 
feel free to comment and tell me. Uh, okay, so uh, until part 10, part 10 already, which is called Bargain Bin, with Homer and Bart uh, in some kind of game, I think it's the EA factory. So yes, until then, goodbye.